the shores of Lake Ontario. We welcome you to Toronto and what means like a homecoming for the Argos who haven't played here in six weeks. Although the game here at BMO Field a little over a year ago was won by Ottawa with Caleb Evans at quarterback, making the handoff, throwing right away to an open receiver and the leading receiver for the Red Blacks so far this season, Justin Hardy with the first down. They had the lead in the final minute by one, but the Riders beat him on a late field goal. Oh, a big hit coming in by Jamal Peters on that second down play. Ward has been four for five, 50 plus. He's the leading scorer in the Canadian Football League. Trying to put the first points on the board of this game. And Lewis Ward is now five for six from 50 plus as indeed he puts that one through. Pressure coming from the second most sacked quarterback in the CFL. Has just been sacked for the first time in this game. Since he became the starter, he has been sacked an average of six times in those four starts. Ottawa, on their first possession, went down and got a 50-yard field goal. Possession number three, Crum, and a deep look down the left. Oh, it's caught, and it's a touchdown. Jalen Acklin, 55 yards for his first touchdown of 2023. It's a let, going left. Finding room, A.J. Olette. Biggest run for him by far in this one as he takes the Argos down around the Ottawa 10. Quickly again, into the end zone. Devaris Daniels caught the ball. It was came loose and he picks it up. It is a Toronto touchdown. But not enough for a first down, so Richie Leone to punt it away. Javon Lee. After a punt of 45, Lee gets through again. Javon Lee, we saw this a couple of weeks ago, a couple of times against the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, a touchdown Atlantic. A 34 yard return. Chad Kelly on first down. Deep down the right, wide open. Devaris Daniels. between Chad Kelly and Devaris Daniels. From the Toronto 52, first down. Play fake, they've got him again. That's the second time that Crum has been sacked. It's a Darius Pickett to the 36 and a second down. 14-10, Argo lead. Crum, with time, looks off to his left to Williams. He breaks free. First down and more, Williams. Looked like Toronto might have had him, but he spun around. And he takes that down inside the Argo 20. If they're going to crash to the inside gap. Here is second down to the end zone and a touchdown. Justin Hardy has it. The Toronto 40. That's complete. You know who. Daniels, what a game he's having. What a half as Javon Santos Knox finally hauls him down. Devaris Daniels, another big play from Kelly to get it down to the Ottawa 25. Just like that. On the first down, heat on Kelly. Dumps it off nicely to Olette. Touchdown, Toronto. As you'll see, watch Olette from the backfield. He steps up and is just finding his way, looking for someone to block. Kelly's got his eyes on him, though, as he starts the escape. A pretty entertaining first half here at BMO. Ottawa trailing again by four. 21-17. Blitz coming, and Crum is down for the third time in this game. Coming in, it's Robertson Daniel. Ushered off after another big reception earlier. And more time for Kelly, and another deep ball. Wide open, Curly Gittens. Flag is out. Gittens spins off Douglas Coleman and gets it inside the five. Upon review by the command center, the foul occurred while the ball was in the air. So by rule, the penalty will be applied from the previous line of scrimmage. Back 15 yards. It's going to be first down and 25. But the ball was in the air, so it's applied from the original line of scrimmage, the 55. And a first and 25 intercepted. Cariel Brooks has picked it off. Takes it in for an Ottawa touchdown. What a difference two plays can make. 
Second and 15. Late first half. Wow. Cam Phillips, what a catch. First down, Argos. Second and goal for yet another lead change. Dukes. Touchdown. Richie Leone in now on a third down, Ottawa, punting it away early in the second half. Javon Lee waits for it, picks it up. He breaks through again. Javon Lee! Could he be gone? Oh, taken down right at the pylon. Another return touchdown for Javon Lee. As he leaks through. And it's the explosion that's right here. Where he is just off to the races. Great effort by a couple of the Red Blacks, including Marco Dubois. But Javon Leak would not be denied what a monster he's been for the Argos this season in the return game. Second down. Complete over the middle. Acklin more yards after the catch, too, as he gets it down near the Argo 10. 34-24 Argos. Ottawa threatening. From end zone, touchdown, Red Blacks. Jackson Bennett. That went right down to the wire, two of them in overtime that they won. Another deep ball to a wide open receiver. Damon Webb is hauling down Cam Phillips, but not before he gets it all the way down in one quick strike to the Ottawa 25. What a moment here. Trying Olet again. As he pushes and the Red Blacks say no. Could they have denied him again? Here we'll see A.J. Olette disappears into the pile. He stopped short. He is stopped. Premature cannon fire here at BMO Field. First and ten. Chad Kelly. Argos. Gets away from the pressure. Rolling right again. Wide open. Touchdown. Winnipeg and Calgary especially really got a taste of it in the fourth quarter if Crum could run. Escapes the pocket. No, he doesn't. Deontay Knight. In his second year at a Western. Comes up with a big sack. Kelly again to another wide open. Devaris Daniels as he just keeps adding to his totals tonight. Made a difference in so many ways in this game in a second and nine. That's caught by Phillips. That's a first down. Staying inbounds. 2.30 on the clock. Beatty. Makes it 44 of 31. Little skirmish going on afterwards. His tempers start to flare. And Ryan Denwitty and his Toronto Argonauts in. Really an exciting back and forth affair in the first half. Take charge in the second. A.J. Olette, among many stories, Devaris Daniels, the biggest one with Chad Kelly and how they combined. And an explosive first half especially. But for Crum and the Red Blacks, falling to three and six.